taxes. Article 1 of the Constitution. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises, but all shall be uniform throughout the United States. So the Constitution states that all federal taxes are required to be apportioned fairly among the states according to their population. Now here's a quote I think you'll find very interesting. Here's the quote. In the most advanced countries, the following will be pretty generally applicable. There will be a heavy progressive or graduated income tax. Now who do you think said that? Karl Marx, Karl Marx in the Communist Manifesto. Here's another quote. The United States in 2008, in 2008, had the most progressive tax system in the world. There's something fundamentally wrong, folks. Now, I traveled a great deal. I was recently in the Slovak Republic. They came out of communism. They came out of a socialist society. They know what it's like to have collectivism. And they left it. And they're doing very, very well. They have a 19% flax tax. They understand the teachings well, and they've looked at both. Now, you can learn a lot about a country from what they put on their money. Our money says, in God we trust. I've traveled to England recently. I've been there many times. I picked up a 10-pound note, okay, and on the 10-pound note, if you look at it, on the face, there is a picture of Queen Elizabeth. On the back, there is a picture of Charles Darwin. Now, Charles Darwin has not given anybody any inalienable rights. He's dead. He has no rights of his own, much less any to give us. The ironic beauty of our national motto being placed on our money is this. Every petty crook or corrupt politician who handles this money must read that there is a higher power who will judge him. and backroom dealer must touch money made sacred by this motto. And now our government, our government would like to get rid not only of the motto, but in order to get rid of it, get rid of our currency. Oh! Remember 9-11, we all joined and we sang God bless America, and you know what? We appeal to God and we have not been attacked since. But what is the government plan to handle this emergency? To what is the plan to take this cyclical financial crisis and make the people back uh, uh, okay? It is turn to the government, and the government will bail you out. They want to scare you into accepting a massive government restructuring. Every dollar of that bailout that they hand to you, if indeed you get any, shouts out, in God we choose it, to God Almighty to intervene. And know this, ultimately you are the government. So it is time for us to start governing. Work as you have never worked before to get people elected of both parties who represent what is good and decent and right, who have integrity and honor. You run for office, locally and nationally. Return this government to its citizens. And let us pray for our leaders in our country at this dark time, when the very future of our way of life is threatened, both from outside invaders and from misguided leaders. The moral capital of past generations has now been dissipated. It is we who must make a new deposit. It is we who must restore our nation to fulfill the Founding Fathers' dream. In similar tumultuous times, Charles Dickens wrote, they were the best of times, they were the worst of times. Well, my friends, whether these are the best of times or the worst of times really doesn't matter. These are our times. Let us make the best of them. God bless you. Wow, Ron Perry, everyone, huh?